And Mike Varney, mm. who produced Rock Justice with Marty, also originated Shrapnel Records. The label was dedicated to heavy metal. And there you are. You're in a band with someone else. But Mike connected you with Dokken in 1983. And it all began, right? That's right. Yeah. And it was all because of Mike. Mike, uh, Mike was the guy you'd call back then. You know, if you wanted to find somebody for your band, you'd call Mike and say, hey, you know, uh, and in this case, Don Dockman called him and said, hey, you know, a singing bass player. And Mike said, yeah, I know a guy that just moved to L.A., which I had. So it worked out perfect. And, yeah, I mean, I've thanked Mike umpteen billion times for that, but umpteen billion and one is never too many. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, because it, it, that was it. it. It just took off for you then. And, and here you are in the 80s in this humongous band and Alone Again written by you and Don. But Don wrote that song back in the 70s. You helped finish it. The song was, as I read, tucked away for quite some time. But what was the magic that you put into that song to make it blow up as it did? Well, I don't know how much necessarily I just added, but uh, I mean, how much magic I necessarily added. But I mean, basically, Don had, he had a song and he had the chorus, the I'm alone again without you. And when I heard that, I said, that's great. And I thought, that's outstanding. The verse that he had was kind of nondescript. I, I kind of don't remember it. Um, but I remember we sat down, you know, and, and we sat down and I came up with the opening, boom, ba -da -da -da, you know, that, the, that opening chord, which I stole from King Crimson, by the way. Um, anyway, and um, anyways, he, uh, and we just started working on the verses and the pre-chorus and just kind of pulled it together. So, but, you know, honestly, the, the bulk of the song is the fact that you have that I'm alone again without you chorus, which is just so strong. That's what I was attracted to. Um, and so we finished the song together to put it where it was, and I'm just really happy with how it came out. 